Good evening, my friends. Today, today I want to share, and I, I don't know if I've shared on this before, but I just wanted to make sure that I do because I've been thinking about how the scripture, the kingdom of heaven, suffers violence and the violent take it by force. You know, this scripture has always confused me. And, and I think it's like, it's like, what is he talking about? You know what I mean? But, but I finally understand what he's saying. And I just want to share, you know, because Jesus is talking and he's saying, Hey, among those born of women, there's none greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding whoever's least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. And for me, what this word came alive to me was, is, you know, wh whenever um, God has spoken and God has set forth promises to us and he tells us and he speaks things to us and he says, this is, you know, this is what's for you, right? This is what I have for you. And, and when we believe that word, you know what I mean? And and we go into it and we take it and we believe for it and we like walk into it. You know, we're taking that promise. We're taking that advance. We're taking that move into the spiritual realm by force. You know what I mean? It, it's like for me, you know, am I going to sit around and wait for God to do things that he's already promised that he would do or said that? is for me or, or has promised that is available for me or am I going to walk into that you know what I mean am I going to sit here and wait for God to do what he said he was going to do or am I going to walk into in faith believing that as I walk out to do what he said he would do he's going to meet me there and meet my faith and and do great things for his own name you know what I mean like uh, in St. Louis, this is where it was revealed to me. In St. Louis, there's these all these prophecies, right, about St. Louis and and this revival starting in St. Louis, and and really just it being a gateway to the West, and whatever starts in St. Louis is going to uh, uh, start the whole world. And then even the Lord, uh, I had felt had I had felt in my spirit something spoken to me that the light that would come from St. Louis would illuminate the nation. And then I was at a place uh, listening to this woman share from Australia, and she said the same thing. And, and it just clicked in my head. I'm like, wow, out of the mouth of two witnesses. You know, like, I was feeling this impress in my spirit. I shared on it. And then this woman says the same thing. And, and But I realized, you know, that this was a prophetic thing, right? That God had spoken and shared. But what can I do? Am I just going to sit and wait for that to happen? Or am I going to be an agent that forces this to happen? You know what I mean? Am I going to walk in faith and say, no, God is, this is our destiny. This is what St. Louis is destined for. I'm going to walk in that and, and push it forward and help to do it and honestly like I believe that the only reason that I believe that that's what I'm doing is because God's given me the faith so at the end of the day God's the one doing it but he's pushing us and we're taking it by force he's pushing us to take his word and his promise and his prophetic uh, you know gift that he's given us of, of hope for our city uh, and our nation to, to walk into it so um, but that's what this scripture means to me now. And that's just an example uh, for me, a personal experience of, you know, that that the kingdom of heaven is suffering violence and the violent take it by force. But if you look up that word violence, it's it's just like, uh, I forget exactly, but it's, it's like a word for taking something um, or, or forcing, forcing and, and seizing something, you know, so we're seizing this moment in time right now, instead of saying, you know what, 
uh, yeah, maybe this, this word will come true in 50 years. Or maybe this word is from 100 years from now. And we're like, no, this word is for right now. And, and we're going to take it. And, and sometimes I believe that God speaks words. And he's just waiting for the people to have the faith to seize that word and to capture it and to walk in it. Amen.